Hey, it's Lady Dre, 1977. I'm back with another video. I'm out here walking. It feels good. Today, it's a bit cloudy, but it made it in the low 80s. But at any rate, let me get into what I want to talk about this video. The word chosen. I see this word thrown around a lot on social media. And I hear people talk about being chosen because of different things. They're good people, they treat people nicely. I know I'm chosen. And what I want to, because sometimes it's not made clear and there are assumptions being made and we have to understand we can't just go by assumptions because somebody can say a lot of things to make you think that they're in the chosen category or that they're chosen but i want to be clear and i'm just trying to be honest as possible Don't nobody have to explain anything to me i'm just saying but when you use the word chosen, we have to remember that there are two kingdoms, okay? You have a kingdom of light, you have a kingdom of darkness, okay? Which one are you? Let me help explain that. The kingdom of light consists of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, okay? That's the kingdom of light. You got the kingdom of darkness, which consists of Satan and his demons. Which one are you? If you do not profess the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're part of the kingdom of darkness. It's as simple as that. You can be chosen by either. Make sure of who you chosen by. And make sure that the people know that. You can't just... You know, the Bible says nobody's good, really. That there is not, you know, there is not one who is good. No, not one. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all do. And what the Lord looks at is the heart and the intent of the heart. And when you are chosen by Him, okay, then you are a chosen one. But let us be careful <laughs> because Satan could pose as an angel of light. And you might think, and this goes for everybody, including me, Satan can pose as an angel of light and have you doing his bidding. But eventually, that's going to come out. That's going to come to fruition, and you're going to see the ugly head of Satan. Which one are you a part of? Who are you chosen by? Are you chosen by the Lord? Or are you chosen by Satan? And I think we who are watching these videos need to understand which one. Actions are going to speak louder than words. A lot of people say I'm part, I'm, I'm chosen, I'm sorry. I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen. Okay, who are you chosen by? because that's key chosen is a pretty big word that, that's a word that's to me even though it's not biblical but that's neither here nor there that's a big word almost as big as um as a prophet okay that's a pretty big word and i just see people you know throwing this word around let's make we should make sure we understand what we're talking about and which kingdom we are part of ask the lord jesus christ for discernment and he will grant it on to you and you will see who is really chosen in or from the kingdom of light or if they're chosen from the kingdom of darkness believe on the lord jesus christ y'all have a good night